Why is the Catholic Church the true church? Consider the ancient practice of atonement before Jesus' time. On the day known as Yom Kippur, a high priest would take two goats. One would be sacrificed, its blood sprinkled on the mercy seat to purify the Holy of Holies, the sacred space, blood, used to cleanse. The second goat would bear the sins of the nation, sent out into the wilderness. This goat came to symbolize Jesus, bearing all of mankind's sins during the scourging. God's desire for a closer relationship with man required a higher form of purification, not merely a temporary covering of sin as offered by the goat's blood. Divine blood was needed to wash away sin completely. Now consider the Catholic Mass. The bread and wine presented are akin to the two goats. The bread, like the first goat, takes on the sins of the people attending the Mass. The wine, like the blood of the second goat, serves to purify. But what or who is being purified? Those attending the Mass. The Eucharist, like a vacuum, sucks in all the sins of the people at the Mass. The priest then eats the Eucharist, thus eating the sins of the people, a spiritual poison. Yet, he then drinks from the chalice, the divine blood of Christ that purifies, an antidote to the poison. Only the priest, having received the sacrament of holy orders, is worthy to perform this act. His hands alone can touch the divine. This is why the Catholic Church stands as the true church. Other denominations, those that broke away from the original vine, lack a valid priesthood and a valid altar. Without these, they cannot truly wash away their sins. To summarize the Catholic Church's practices, rooted in the time of Jesus and even before, are a testament to its validity. Its rituals of atonement represented by the bread and wine are a reflection of ancient practices. The priest, ordained and worthy, acts as the conduit for this purification process. This is what sets the Catholic Church apart, what makes it the true Church. In understanding these practices we gain a deeper appreciation of the Catholic Church and its roots. We see the evolution of these practices from the days of ancient atonement to the modern Mass, and how they reinforce the argument for the Catholic Church being the true Church. The question we started with, why is the Catholic Church the true Church, is answered because it is the only place that can produce divine blood and divine blood is the only thing that can wash away sin.